Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for us to go and face off against the gloom and doom that is Medaris at the Frost Castle. We are playing Etna Mode and Disgaea 1 Complete on the PS4. We're going to skip the event because we've already seen it. And we're going to hop in and we're going to be like, Hey, zombies, I remember you. I remember you very well. Do you remember us? You do. You, you think you're still stronger than we are. You are. You are. A little bit. A little bit stronger than us. But we've gotten a bit stronger ourselves. So, yeah, that still didn't seem to hit very hard. But it's okay. It is okay. I I know that we're having some struggles here. We're, we're not going to go crazy this time with that and almost get her killed right off the bat. That was a pretty dumb maneuver from me. I admit it. I admit when I do stupid things, and that was a stupid thing. Alright, we're going to hope that the Omega Star oops, is a little bit better off this time than it was last time. Yeah, that, that did okay. Um, yeah, not real sure what other awesome things we can do at this point. We're kind of back at the same spot we were before, only with a couple of stronger people. So the thing goes the exact same way as it did last time, we're gonna be okay. But if it doesn't... Hmm. Oh, he's super close to death. I'm pretty sure I can do something here. You guys wanna see what that something is? Me too. I don't know what it is though. I have no idea. I think if I did Winged Slayer, it'd be okay. But before we can do that, we gotta move Etna out of the way, which I'm not a fan of, but that's okay. Chuck her over there. We'll go ahead and we're gonna use a winged slayer. Get ourselves into position there. It's pretty nice. Okay. We have an Antros still existing. Move him over here. Hopefully he can stand his ground with his lion's roar. Would have been nice to snag up a couple of extra pieces of equipment, too. Hindsight being what it is, but eh, I think it's fine. I think if we, oops, I think if we throw another Omega Star out there, I think that's going to be okay. A little, a little underwhelming overall, but eh. Alright, we got Leo. We're going to defend. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, we still have all the stuff turned off, guys and gals. I'll turn it back on for this this fight. But for right now, we'll just let this play through, because for one, I don't have any way of changing it at this point. But Also, it, it it's a testament to let you guys see the game does go significantly quicker when you turn off the animations. I like the animations on when I'm doing the coverage, because it's just... It's cool. I, I really like what they've done with the animations. But at the same time, I can definitely see why folks do turn them off for speeding up the actual gameplay. Oops, not that, this one. All right, let's go ahead and do a little bit of cooking. So again, guys, comment as we're going through this and let me know, do you just not want to see the stuff on at all? Would you prefer just to not see it? The uh, animations is what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Um, because again, I'll probably turn them on occasionally, just because, like I said, I like seeing all the stuff that happens. But if we've already seen everything, it just speeds it up. Alright, that, that feels that feels good, that feels right. I'm okay with that. I'd like to take out the zombie over here, if I could. Okay, I'm just, I'm just checking to see if there's anything else we needed to do there. It does not appear that we do. I'm going to move Planera over here. She's going to go ahead and hit him with the Triburst. That's so underwhelming. I think I should just use the Usagi drop. No matter what. We're going to go ahead with the Bullet Storm. I'm too far away for the Bullet Storm. I'm going to go ahead and do the Bullet Storm from here. Bit of damage. That really didn't do all that much, but that's okay. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and avalanche our way over here. Boom. Boom. 
Down he goes. A uh, little bit underwhelming. Oh, let's might sever this side. I'm trying to protect our healer right now. That's one of my primary goals. And I don't know that I can do it. We've exerted quite a bit already, and it's still standing. I'd very much like it to die. While Katie is pretty strong. Oh, yeah, she did it, actually. I said, I don't know that she's strong enough. Again, she's done everything the hard way. She's never been... The person that got to enjoy the power leveling up and stuff. She had to do everything, just like, like one hit here, one hit there, you know, just picking stuff off left, right, and center. Like that's how she's she's gone through the whole thing. So kudos and shout out to Katie for managing that. Alright, big old slam into the ground. A blinding white light, enough to get a kill. Beautiful, sweet, sweet, nice style. I'm going to lift and throw you. Back behind your friend there. I think what I'm going to do with you is I want you to live. So that's kind of the plan. I think I'm going to have you eat some flan. And you know what? Just stay right where you're at. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that... Yeah, we're going to do that. Alright, we're going to end the turn. There's going to be some Gatling guns and stuff that I'm not going to enjoy. Zap probably won't make it. Yeah, see. Zap's down. This should be fine. Leo might not make it, but everybody else should be okay. So we're just kind of handling things. We're just taking care of business. Left, right, center, up, down, back, and forth. Like we do. Like we do. And I'm not really seeing... whole lot of weakness in what we're, we're rocking here. He kind of got slapped a bit there, but overall, it's not too, too bad. The biggest problem is everybody's a bit spread out, and that's, you know, kind of a problem, right? Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use Rapid Fire. It should be able to do a pretty substantial amount of damage. 1400, it's not too bad. We're going to go over here, we're going to do... What are you resistant to? You're vulnerable to wind, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. That's going to be great and glorious and sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright. We may have to throw our healer into hiding. I'm not sure. I'm leaning toward that's what we're going to need to do. If we can make it to the boss fight with like four to five people alive, I'm gonna be happy. Like we we've made it at that point. Like that's that's where we wanna be. If we can't manage that, well then we're gonna have ourselves some issues. This should be a guaranteed kill. Like I'm I'm pretty sure this should absolutely kill him. Yeah, I did. 30. Okay, 31. I was like, oh no, 1,500! That's, that's good. We're good. Uh, I'm just going to give him some chocolate. That'll be enough for him to stay standing. Uh, I'm going to move here. We're going to wind cut. Got some work done there, and... Katie's still got something to offer. She's gonna Hurricane Slash. I know her wind cut's probably slightly better. But this still does some damage. Well, a bit over 700. I'm okay with that. And our healer must retreat back into the safety of uh, the portal. Alright, so we got three zombies down here, two zombies up there, and then the two big uh, dudes coming down soon. Oh, we got a total of four zombies down here. Pretty big hit. A zombie swarm.
It's okay. A little less okay. Shot his own guy, but he did take Katie out, which I'm not thrilled with. Okay. He is definitely suffering quite badly for his craft. Alright, are, are they maybe both immune to uh, wind and fire? Alright, so they're the opposite. I guess we try the star. I guess we're gonna do it on these two, because that's what we got. We're gonna chug some, assuming we can survive it. We're gonna chug some potions to get them up and, and running for the next deal. But, again, that's... There's definitely some assumptions going on for those things. Alright, fairly sizable chunks of damage done there. We're gonna have Planair come out, and Planair is going to drop the Usagi up on Yuagi. That looks like Antras is just gonna keep tanking it with the chocolate. Like, that's kinda his role now, it seems. Um, have another chocolate bar, buddy. Um, can we wind cut that? We can, but we only hit the one. I am okay with doing this. Should kill one of them. It did. Okay, the other guy is slightly too strong, probably, for her to take out. But it is a back attack. So maybe not. We'll see. I'm hoping. I'm hoping the avalanche is going to be enough. There's absolutely no guarantee that this goes down the way we want it to. Oh, it did. All right, that's, that's great. Okay. So we're fine. We still have somebody in reserve. Okay, for heals and whatnot. We're down to three zombies. Only two of which are showing right now, which is fine. Oh, no. Oh, I thought for sure she'd survive that. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, what we're gonna do is King of Beasts this way. I feel like Ancho's maybe going down here, but we'll see. We're really gonna try to take these guys out. Alright, we're gonna Avalanche once more. This would be a fairly sizable chunk of damage. Courtney had like five, six more levels, she would have lived through that attack. It's really disappointing. Alright, let's go with the drop again. And it's going to hurt them. A lot. That should finish them. And then it's going to be up to Arzla to do whatever Arzla's going to do. Oh no, it didn't do it. Oh, that's the worst. Oops. Nope. Ow. There it is. I overshot. That was that was almost bad. I almost murdered my guy. Um, I mean, we're we're gonna try to provide some distraction. I mean, Tamlin's got some range she can cast at. She just can't move super far. Like, he can chase her down if he wants to. So this is gonna, we're gonna see here. Oh, he's going after her. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That is literally perfect. That is the dream incarnate. That's too far for rapid fire, right? No, that's not. It's just, he's, okay. Take a shot at you. I think we're just gonna come over here and we're gonna use like Hurricane Slash, it's super low mana cost. 
take you down. I'm probably gonna chug a, a magic potion on our gal over on the left there. On Arzla, and he actually kinda needs one too. She still has some magic, he really doesn't. Alright, so we still have a whole bunch as you can see. We're gonna do a 480, should be more than enough. Alright. Let's see, can we get some espoir going on to you? You basically just tanked everything for everybody. It's, it's okay. It's not a bad thing. Keep you as far away from terrible bad things as we can. We're actually going to use our defend command. We're feeling pretty okay right now. I don't know, the statues came to play. Alright, that's cool. She's about half health. She's poisoned, but she can still move. I'm okay with these things. We'll go ahead and we're going to use the try, whatever. It's fine. It still does okay damage, right? We'll go ahead and throw Espoir onto her. We'll go ahead and use the Wind Cutter. Probably just attack. And we'll see where that puts us. Overall damage. It's not going to be enough. She does not attack that hard. Well, that was actually more than I thought she was going to do. Holy heck. Hmm. I think we'll try that. This is a bad idea. We're in a, we're in a bad spot, but whatever. We'll give it a shot. Alright. Can Antros pull the ire of just one dude? Okay, two guys, it's fine. There's gonna be a cannonball coming at the others, though. But the healer should be safe and be able to easily heal that back up. Ugh. Oh, we almost lost Planera, though. That was my biggest fear, was Planera was gonna get hit with a cannonball immediately following that, and then it was just gonna be it. But she did, and she survived it, and that's pretty sweet. Alright, so we're back to full strength. Yeah, we're down, we're still down to the final six. So we're we're feeling we're feeling this. We're absolutely feeling it. We have turbulence now unlocked again. Just slap him over there and just bah, 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 bah. get wrecked. It's fine. All right, so he's feeling a little bit worse for the wear, I dare say. Uh, try again. Yeah, still does okay damage. up to the side. Arzla will wait. Let's do the wind cutter. I know I keep wanting to get more spell points with him. This is not happening. It is just not happening. I'm gonna toss this dude over into the corner, I think. Let him go suffer over there. He'll probably shoot us with a cannonball or something, but that's that's fine. We're not going to do the 4700 that we need to do, but we're going we're gonna to make him suffer a bit. He's going to feel a little bit bad after this. I'm hoping we do over 3k. Nope, just under. Um, yeah, no, I think we're good. The only thing that I'm a little concerned with is her. Is that a safe spot? I don't know. Oh! Mm. It's not. I hoped. She doesn't survive this. I probably should have transferred some item that gives a lot of health over to her. But that's okay. We still have items for this exact reason. And we still have backup healers too. I can just literally move over here, and it's fine. Alright, Avalanche. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna change our position slightly here. And special avalanche, and that probably just kills you, right? You're just done at that point. Yep, you're just done at that point. So... Can't move you in there anywhere, but we can toss you further away. And you can, I guess, you can use another item. Eat another chocolate, man. Keeps you going, buddy. And you can actually use an item now, too. Let's get you, I don't think we need 900 for you. Probably 250, honestly. It's a good portion of what you do. All right, let's do this. Oh, you don't even want to play, huh? All right, well, I will do a wind cutter on you if you just want to sit over there and do nothing. And we'll kill you off eventually. Like, we did this before. We know how this plays out. Like, we've seen this go down. Uh, Sade, why don't you come out and do a little bit of healing on our boy here. A bit of a mega heal. There it is. That's nice. Alright. Down here. Um, let's see. Item. What do we have for your low end? Protein shake? More than enough. Planaire can kind of chill here. Ah, you want to come play. Alright. Cannonball onto both of them? Impressive. Not real thrilled with it, but whatevs. Gonna go ahead and drop. Oops, drop this on your head. Enjoy the 1385 damage we have just unfolded upon you. I think we're gonna do a tiger charge. And curse splatchity. Up one, and now in line for the wind cutter. That puts you pretty low, but oh, you're still alive. I can't throw a heal that far, can I? No. Alright, what if we go ahead and we find old Bumpington? That's right, that's me. Old Bumpington, come back out here, wind cut your face off. Doing at least a thou. At least a thou. Just under. And can Etna pull a 3111? I think she can. I believe. Do you guys believe? Believe with me. Can you believe hard enough for Etna to do this? Come on, Etna. Show him what's what. Put him down, make him suffer. 2940. I am very unhappy. I am so incredibly sad. But that's how this just went down. Alright. I mean, we won't die, probably. But, seriously, what in the world? Not cool, man. Not cool. I'm taking this. This is my kill. You can deal with it. Get out of here. Alright. I don't know what's happening here for this heal, but we're, we're gonna... Oh. Guess we'll put that no away for right now. I'm bringing me out. My other me. My old me. It's fine. We'll do this heal first. <laughs> We'll do the other heal Elytro. Put you over there. Put you back. Nope. There. I'm 
Well, no matter what, we're in a much better position than we were. Like, a significantly better position. If we can pull him safely, we've got this. If we can't, well, then we don't got it. But I'm pretty sure we've got it. Alright, Etna, hopefully that's far enough without risking anything. I think we're actually fine where everybody's standing. Alright, see what you got. Yeah, come by yourself, friend. Oh, I know. I know how this goes. We, we've done this. We've done this dance before. I remember this. It's not great. We're gonna item, we're gonna chocolate it up. Not the, the full Monty that we're looking for, but it, it's a thing. I think we're I think we're okay spread. Let's see what you got. You gonna go straight for Edna again? Edna's ready. We're all ready. It's time for you to go down, friend. You stole her memories? That's not cool. It's time you suffered for it. It's time you suffered that sweet, sweet, sweet defeat that you're about to eat. That's right. It sort of rhymed. It's totally okay. We're gonna rapid fire. We're not gonna. We're gonna. Tr we're gonna Usagi drop on you. We're going to figure out what it is that we're going to do, and we're going to do it, by golly. We'll try our best to keep our spread going. Um, yeah, no, it's ever, sure. Hopefully this does at least 2,000 damage, if not more. It, almost three. I'm okay with that. Going to attack you in the face, Madaris. 1400. You're already down to 33. So we're feeling much better than we did last time. I'm still not sure this is the best course of action. Moving him in here to do this, but it's more damage. It's a thing that we're doing. Alright, we're ending the turn. What's your move? That's your move? It, it's a pretty good move. Not gonna lie, it was a pretty impressive move. Okay, teriyaki. Chocolate, we're gonna go with some flan. I'm back to full health, fool. Is that, is that the angle? Nope. We have some serious reach with our skills, let me tell you. They are pretty darn impressive. I'll step back one, I'm gonna step back one with you. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rapid fire, rapido fire. We're gonna do a wind cutter followed by a rapido fire. And that is going to do some work. Move back into position. Knight Sever once more. 2700 damage coming our way, or his way, I guess, technically. He is not going to enjoy that one little bit. Alright, it's a little bit less. About 25. Almost 26. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw another Madeira's uh, uppercut stab to your face. It was a nice bullseye, and I'm probably going to move over here. Let's see what that does next. Oh, okay. So, I see the spread now. I see what I have to do. Alright, item. Chocolate's fine. She is still lacking. Pretty good chance he goes after... Antros. We're going to continue to lay into him with all of our attacks. 
the top three uh, levels are just kind of getting to go reckless abandon on them. I say that, I mean, Etna's kind of hamstrung right now, but uh, the others are, are able to lay into them pretty good. The Rapido Fire is working a little bit of overtime, too. We already have him down to 21. I mean, he was already going back and forth with Etna by this point last time. Sorry, uh, nope, I scoot up. I thought so. I think that will still hit Etna. Yeah, I gotta scoot up once more. But that also puts me in range of getting double smacked again, so we'll see. Eight sixty. I wonder what items he has. Oh, a royal ring. That would have been good to steal. I can move that now. Never mind. Did I not cast my knight sever? I feel like I might not have done that. Alright. We still have a ton of regen. I am still pretty happy with that outcome. I feel like I did not cast Night Sever last time. Oh, really? Well, that's super disappointing. I'm just gonna drop the Usagi on him. I think we'll just chill here. Hold on. We can do better than that, can't we? Oh, no, he's already... He's already hard committed. Nope. Hmm. Really wish this thing would wear off. Um, did I buy any of the fairy dust stuff? I thought I bought like one, but I might not have. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get this over with. A uh, much less damaging turn. Still 2290s, not bad. I'm gonna couple it with this, and we're doing over three. Yeah. That's fine. It's a little less fine. Yeah, he's down. Alright, so. That was bound to happen at some point. Like, we saw the writing on the wall for that for quite some time. Think I can hit it from here? Yep. Please don't tell me that that thing obstructs the... It does. Of course it does. Hmm. Okay, we'll do a bit more damage this time. We're getting uh, around 4,000 this time. If we could just take him out, I'm totally okay with dealing with the last two guys, the healers that he had. Like, we didn't rush in. We, we weren't foolish. So he's down to 11,000. I am, I am totally okay with this. This is going well. Chug some flan and chill right there. You gonna go after? Uh, yeah. I, I thought it was weird. Don't don't, don't counterattack. No, why would you do that, you fool? Uh, well, the good news is, guess what? We're off, so we can actually start hurting again pretty hard. But Arzla did her job. She was the DPS when our poor gal here, Etna, was incapable of doing so. So I am okay with that. See how this works out. 
be a pretty sizable chunk of damage. Basically, we've won. Like, there, there's no coming back from this. This is the end of you, Medeiros. You won't die this time. You'll die soon, though. Basically, next turn, he's 100% dead. I believe one shot from... No, we all kind of need to hit him, but we'll, we'll take him down. It's okay. As long as it does not... Go ahead and poison us to not be able to use skills. I am totally okay with it. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to drop the Usags. We are going to come over here. As Lord Bumpington the final. And do this. And then Etna just gets to stab him in the back and win. Because she's Etna and she deserves our love and attention. 1000 damage. Here comes 900 or so. 600. Nah, not really what we're looking for. Alright, well, maybe not a stab in the back, but an avalanche in the back. Which is what we're after. So, I say farewell to you, good sire, bad sire, jerk sire, I don't know. Dude's a jerk. He's dead. He's handled. He's gone. We are victorious. Just have to go kill the two little babies up top, and that's that. Etna mode done. And I don't see the babies up top bringing a whole lot to bear against us. Um, but, just for the lols, it's a thing the kids still say these days, right? The lols, or the lols, maybe? I don't know. It's fine. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this. And she's gonna be all shiny and mostly new. Alright. Be gone. Come back forth, Sire Bumpy. Or it is nearly time for the th three strongest. Alright. Two of the three strongest to, uh, and the fourth or fifth strongest to join the ranks of the Immortals. What's going on up here? She's like, do, 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 do. Oh, we should probably should have had our eyes closed this whole time. We were just napping. We didn't know there was a battle going on. Yeah, maybe maybe open your eyes, see what's going on, read the room a little bit, you know? Cause yeah, you, you missed out a little bit on what's going down. I feel like things could have gone differently for you guys. But you just not gonna get that opportunity again. If we can kill one of them, we've got this. Yeah, we got it. I said, if we couldn't kill one, eh, there's a very small chance they could pull some shenaniganery and really make us set. You know, I don't even care. Uh, can we blade? No, we can't. That's that's fine. All right, you gonna heal yourself? Nope. They just they've given up. There's no hope. They know. They know there's no hope. They're like, whatevs. Just end us. You know, I'm feeling magnanimous. Actually, I want to see what turbulence looks like. Let's go do that. What does turbulence look like? Ooh, that's cool. Oh. Okay. Admirable. Not a bad AoE, if I do say so myself. Alright. Is this enough to finish? I don't think so, but we'll try. Oh, it was! There it is, folks! We all leveled up at the end there. The Dune Eagle has landed. <laughs> Please, forgive me! <laughs> now, what should I do to you first? Please, spare my life! <laughs> don't do it. It's a trap. Pathetic! I should never have relied on a demon to do an archangel's work. What? Who are you? <laughs> Filthy demon. You are not huh. worthy of hearing my name. Well, that took a twist. Master Volcanus, why are you here? It's 
up, Flan? Uh, who's this loser? He's the Archangel Volcanus. He is the supreme commander of the celestial hosts. But why are you doing this? An angel? Well, he looks like a bad guy to me. Me too. Huh, what are you talking about? You demons are the source of all evil. <laughs> I am punishing you demons for the sake of world peace. If only that old man would listen to me. <laughs> that is why I must become the Seraph and destroy all demons. How can you say all demons are evil? If our Lord heard that, he would be deeply saddened. Truly. Flan, how dare you talk back to me like that? Ooh. It's all your fault. If only you had been eliminated, everything would have gone according to plan. Well, that's not cool. I even disguised myself as God to deceive you, but you still survived. Really? Just gonna admit that to whatever. You were God? You tricked me! You lied to me more than any demon I've met! Yeah. <laughs> if I defeat you and Etna, and then take the Overlord's corpse back with me to Celestia. I am sure to become the Seraph. I feel like there's more, which is good. I'm okay with that. Ah, for the peace of the world, you must die here. What a dork. Uh. Don't compare me to demons. <laughs> I don't care if you are an archangel. I've had enough of your mouth. You're no different than Medeiros. Tricking impressionable girls just to gain a title. More or less, yeah. Oh, shut up, you demon! I don't care what you are. I just wanted Madeiras to suffer utter misery for dragging me into this mess. But you killed him. So now what am I supposed to do for fun? Uh. You're gonna pay big time for that, chump! Yeah. You're blaming me for this? Yep. Yep. Uh. How about you kneel down and beg me for your life? Oh, and apologize to Flan, too. Yeah. Miss Edna. <laughs> Don't be silly. Do you, an ordinary demon girl, truly believe you can defeat me? Huh? I'm willing to try. Challenge me if you wish to die. I will show you the power of the next Seraph. Looks like there's more. We have to go to the Millennium Ice. There's probably a little bit more than that, even. The game likes to keep pulling the rug out from under you. Oh, it's a final chapter. Oh, but there's a continued final chapter. Oh, you're fighting this per Oh, oh, but no. Oh, now. Oh, oh, yeah. It's okay. I, I'm not complaining. It's good. I like twists and turns and, and things that I wasn't expecting. It's it's good. It's really good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for my recording time for tonight and my stuff. So the next time you see me, I will definitely be a much higher level. Um, if I had to guess, and, and I, I am guessing here. If I had to guess, I would say that Edna probably closes a little bit on 200. Maybe not. Probably, though. Uh, Zap will definitely be over 100. Bumpy will be around the 130 mark like the others. Uh, Katie will probably not move much. Antros will definitely be up there a little bit higher. And we're going to be looking for Courtney to crest over the 100 mark. On top of that, I'll see if I can't do anything with Tamlin and maybe even Sage, getting them a little bit higher. And maybe Dendra and or Slade will also make the cut. I don't know. That is a tale for another time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I thought it was the end. It's not. I've been swerved again. But that's okay. I like it. All right, folks. Until the very next episode, I am Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will see you later. <laughs>